Uh, my name is Bill Leahy. I am the president of Project 55. Uh, I've been the president for a year and will be staying on. Uh, this is Project 55 is a multi-generational organization. As you look uh, through the room, there are individuals here who are on the board and who have served in various capacities with the organization. Uh, just by way of background, we are now beginning our 20th celebratory year. Uh, this is the 19th year. We'll uh, conclude uh, at the big reunion next year when the class of uh, 1955 will have their 55th reunion. Uh, it was 19 years ago that a group of individuals from the class of 1955, I call them the Band of Brothers, uh, got together and said simply, we can do better. Uh, we have graduated, we have participated in all of the fruits of our university. We have been active uh, in our professional lives, and now we have to give back to the community. And that community was essentially both the nation and now domestic, down internationally. And so through a period of probably a year, a couple years, uh, they put together a mission statement debated and discussed how this organization should be founded and launched the organization. At first, there was always the dynamic uh, disequilibrium, if you will, between the institution of Princeton and what they were trying to do. And yet, over the years, uh, I think the university understands that the university has inured in benefits from this group that put together Project 55. Over the last 19 years, there have been over 1,300 uh, graduates of our program, alumni of the program. These are students who graduate and are placed in the nonprofit world. There were both internships and fellowships uh, at that time. Fellowships still uh, survive. Uh, we have an alumni group that starts, therefore, with the class of 1989. Uh, I learned of Project 55. I'm from the class of 66. I am a little bit younger than the 55 guys. I look maybe a little bit older. Uh, and that's because I've been working in an organization in this financial stress and stressful times. Nonetheless, um, the uh, organization uh, now is engaging individuals from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And our board is predominantly individuals not directly from the class of 55. So it is changing. It's also changing as we look forward to a new initiative, which would be to possibly set up a parallel program to the PIP program and engaging a whole generation of Princetonians from the 60s, 70s, and 80s to engage in the nonprofit world. We're just beginning to look at this and discuss it, and I'm sure we'll go through the same debates that these gentlemen went through uh, 19 years ago as to how to form this and do it well. If we're successful, this will be our legacy and a continuation of Project 55. <coughs> Today, we're going to hear uh, from, it was for the three civic leaders who are associated with Project 55. Uh, unfortunately, um, circumstances have conspired against us in two ways. Liz Duffy, who is the headmaster at Lawrenceville School, was to moderate the program. As you may have heard, there is a swine flu epidemic at Lawrenceville, it had to cancel classes, cancel graduation, and she's there trying to put together all the pieces. Uh, and secondly, Margaret Crotty uh, was going to be with us on the panel. Unfortunately, Margaret uh, is on an Amtrak train, and you know what that can mean. And indeed, she is stalled somewhere uh, outside of Princeton and may not get here until this afternoon. So we have an opportunity for three civic leaders uh, to talk with us. Uh, Kate McCleary from Class of 75 has stepped in for Liz. Uh, Kate is um, on the board uh, of Project 55 uh, and has full-time responsibilities for many things. Uh, she is the mother of uh, two children. She has a son who is to graduate from James Mason University in uh, Virginia this year. And she has a daughter uh, from the Class of 2011. So there are multiple reasons why Kate should come up here. <laughs> We won't prioritize it, but they will be Project 55 in the garden. Uh, secondly, she is married to Bob Martinez from the same class of 75. Bob, uh, I live outside of Washington. Bob was the uh, president of the Princeton uh, Club in Washington for several years, and he also has many reasons to come up here. First of all, see Kate, then see Project 55, and then see their daughter. Uh, 
Uh, Kate is also the deputy executive uh, producer of the news, uh, the, the news Hour with Jim Lehrer, and has been in this responsible position for the last four years. Kate has had a 34-year history of, uh, of journalism uh, and has been involved in all kinds of broadcast journalism and involved in multiple uh, different aspects of that. Uh, so Kate will introduce the panelists, will moderate the panel. We're going to leave plenty of time, now that we're down to three panelists, we'll have more time for questions and answers and discussion thereafter. So Kate, let me let you take it over. I will. Thank you so much. 